Hello, Year 4. Welcome to your second geography lesson. We're going to start with a no more remembering more. OK, so you need pen and paper to write these questions. The answers are down. So question one, there are three types of volcano. Is that true or false? Pause the video, answer that question. Question two, the two tectonic plates, Italy border, are the Eurasian and African, the Caribbean and Indian, the African and Oceanic, or the Andes and the Himalaya range? Pause the video, give yourself some time to answer that question. Question three, how many active volcanoes are there in Italy? Pause the video, give yourself some time to answer that question. And question four, where is Mount Etna located in Italy? Okay, you need to pause the video, give yourself time to answer those questions. The overall question that we're going to look at today is why do people live near Mount Etna? Okay, so the answers now, if you need some more time, pause the video. The answers, question one, there are three types of volcano, that is true. Question two, the two tectonic plates Italy border are the African and Oceanic, so that was C. Question three, how many active volcanoes are there in Italy? There are three. And question four, where is Mount Etna located in Italy? It is located in Catania on the east coast of Sicily in Italy. So well done if you managed to get those correct. We are going to be looking at why do people live near Mount Etna? We're going to be able to explain the risks people face living near Mount Etna and to be able to describe the social, economic and environmental reasons why people choose to live beside Mount Etna. Got some vocabulary, so some words that we already know is Eurasian, Oceanic and Exposure. And some key words that we're going to meet along the way is socio-economic, environmental, agriculture and fertile. So where do people settle in Sicily? So this is a map of Sicily here. We can see Mount Etna is shown by this red triangle just there. I can tell you that more than a quarter of the population of Sicily actually live near Mount Etna. And Catania, so the area that Mount Etna is located, so we can see Catania here, is one of the largest settlements in Sicily. There's a video here for you to watch. And I want you to think about the question, do you think it is safe to live near Mount Etna? Bear in mind, approximately 1 million people live near this volcano. Okay, so I'm gonna play this video and think about the question at the top.
Schießen. Das ist das beste Volcano Action you've seen. Es ist gut zu ambern. Bei Ambern ist es gut. Es ist besser. We had a couple of particularly large explosions. There are two craters going at once, so you've got to watch where they're coming from. Uh, we had quite a number of large projectiles actually go overhead and land behind us, so uh, you don't want to be hit by them. Okay, so why do you think people live near Mount Etna? Do you think it's safe to live near Mount Etna? Okay, should have some thoughts jotted down. Here we can see in that video that Jeff Mackley was going up to Mount Etna. We can see what it was like there. So if we know Mount Etna is dangerous, why do so many people live there? So we're going to explore the social, economic and environmental reasons why people live in high risk areas. OK, we're going to have a look at those. OK, so we've got a video here. and I'd like you to watch this video and think about why you think people live near Mount Etna. OK, so watch this video for me. There you go.
Soaring Mount Etna is the pavilion of Greek mythology, believed to be the forge in which Hephaestus and the Cyclops crafted the thunderbolts of Zeus. Etna covers an area of some 460 square miles, with a colossal aspect of 11,000 feet, making it the largest active volcano in all of Europe and the third most active in the world. Planeta Estate lies in the northern slopes within the Council of Castiglione di Sicilia in the district of Sierra Nuova at an elevation of 870 meters above sea level. The land has a near perfect aspect and is extraordinarily rich with minerals and black volcanic sands, the blessed decomposition of the stone that forms the old buildings and terraces littering the mountainside. The surrounding forests and more recent lava flows create the aesthetic of a place frozen in time. Vines have been cultivated on Mount Etna from as early as the Bronze Age, and it is clear that the inspiration of Etna encouraged the Greeks to develop new systems of cultivation that helped elevate wine into the deeply rooted cultural phenomenon that it is today. Recently, the utterly unique mineral-influenced wines of Mount Etna have begun a renaissance, and in keeping with that, our plantings are mainly those of the obscure white variety Caricante and the red variety of Nerello Mascalese. Each variety is grafted to a carefully selected rootstock appropriate to the unique soil, climate, and altitude. In 2012, we will dedicate a winery in keeping with the area true to the architectural, environmental, and historic values of this magnificent monument. Okay, so we can see that there are lots of different reasons why people live near Mount Etna. We're going to have a look at some of those now. So if we know Mount Etna is dangerous, why do so many people live there? Well, I've got a couple of reasons. These fall under our environmental and economic categories. We can see in these pictures that there's a lot of farming and agriculture going on. So due to the years of eruptions from the volcano that you can see here, the land near Mount Etna is very fertile. Now, if something is fertile, if the land is fertile, it is very good for growing crops. People can receive a good income by growing and selling crops, so by farming the land. So that's one reason why people will be living there, because it's a good place to make money and to farm the land. Another reason this falls under economics. So we can see there are lots of people here. There are lots of people visiting. So tourism is a big income for people who live near Mount Etna. And that's due to its beauty. So a lot of tourists choose to visit Mount Etna because it is a very beautiful landscape. It's very nice scenery. People like to go and see something different, something that they don't have in their own country, perhaps. It's a popular ski resort. So we can see here, we've got the ski lifts here. You've got a lot of snow, so it's a good ski resort for many Europeans. And this all creates job opportunities for the local people who can support these tourist activities, such as guided walks, so we can see those in the first picture, and the cable cars in the second picture. So it's a good income to work in tourism. Another reason, again, economic for tourism is hospitality. So hospitality, so things like restaurants, hotels, bars, this creates a lot of job opportunities for local people and encourages people to move to Mount Etna for more work. 
So you can see you've got a lovely hotel here with a swimming pool. We've got some uh, restaurants and tourist places like there, there as well. Another reason would be social. So this is because many people have built their livelihood, so their whole lives in Mount Etna, and a lot of people are born there. So they don't want to leave where they've come from. Many local families don't really think the volcano is too much of a risk because it's become normal to them. It's something they're very used to. They don't see it as dangerous. It's just their home. What you need to do is write from the perspective of each of these people. So on your piece of paper, you need to write from the perspective of a hotel owner, a ski instructor and a farmer. You need to include their perspective, so why they choose to live and work by Mount Etna. And evaluate whether you think they are there for social, environmental or economic reasons. So are they working or living there because they were born there? Is that their social aspect? Is it economic for money? Are they making money out of it? Or environmental? Are they just enjoying the environment or using the environment to their potential? So that is what you need to do. So you can pause the video here. If you need to go back and watch the videos again, if you need to look through the slides, you can rewind the video. So give the video a pause and give yourself some time to write a few sentences for each one, talking about why each person would live and work by Mount Etna and evaluate whether it is social, economic or environmental. And once you've done that, you can move on. So moving on to our challenge, I'd like you to evaluate which of these factors you believe is most important, whether people should live near Mount Etna or not. So which one is the most important to evaluate and which is most important to their community? Is it social impacts, environmental or economic? And you can write a couple of sentences for each point. So which one is the most important that people should consider and which one's the most important to the community as a whole? If you need some more information, you can go back, rewind the video, watch the videos again and look through the slides. And once you've done that, that is all you need to do. You do need to head over to Purple Mash and do your quiz and then you'll be done. So well done, year four. Thank you.